Uh, it's the Winner's Legion again. The middle of the fucking night. What the hell? Let's rock and roll. I got big brass ones. I don't give a shit. We're going to do some, some vlogging in the middle of the night just for you guys. Because you guys got questions, I got answers, because I'm fucking crazy, huh? What are you, what am I watching? Who is this guy? Oh, <laughs> he seems like a Chad. Yes, I am a Chad. Well, reform Chad. No point in being a Chad, guys. It's not as fun as you think. Go back to my other videos. It's not all it's cracked up to be. If you're a shorter guy, uglier guy, normal guy, trust me. It's not all it's cracked up to be. You are in the right lane. In fact, if you're an average or below average guy, trust me, your life is much, much simpler and good because you have a massive advantage. You get that delayed gratification. You don't have to spend, guys, you just, you just keep doing what you're doing. I'm happy for you because you're not going to have nearly as much of headaches as all the good looking guys I've ever known. Guys way better looking than me, guys buffer than me, you know. They've got they've got more problems than you could ever imagine. More pro guys, <laughs> it's like they never became anything. They're just the fucking janitor or the they're a mechanic or you know. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not knocking it, but my point being, they never got their dreams going. You get what I'm saying? Because there's so so many women in their lives, waste of time. Anyway, before we get started, go ahead punch the like button. Uh, apologize for the traffic. What the hell's going on? What is everybody? What the hell? Anyway, it's fucking LA. What do you expect? Then I want you to go ahead and finger the subscribe button. Don't hit me, bitch. Then I want you to come. See, the, the dogs always, they always agree. Dogs are always like, yeah, 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 get them bitches. Then I want you to comment in the, uh, the subscribe. Comment in the comment section below. This is my sixth video for today, guys. I'm going to be, uh, might get a little little bumpy, but I've got so much energy. I just want to win, guys. I just want to win. I want you to comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think of these videos. Tell me uh, I need more lighting. Tell me you know I need to get a get, I need to get more information. Blah blah. Give me some uh, give me some insights. And then I want you to tell five friends about me and these videos. Because we're changing lives, gentlemen. I can't believe it. We're changing lives. People saying, hey, you changed my fucking life. Guys, that, that's insane. That that That's worth it. To me, that's worth it. I can't believe I mean, shit, I've only been doing this fucking two months. It's insane. What the hell? But, hey, I'm here for you guys. This is a really important one that I just thought of. And I was thinking about it and I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No wonder guys are so confused. Because over here we understand women. We understand that we don't love them. We don't love them. I'm sorry guys. You get you only get you can either love women or you can understand them. You cannot do both. And once you understand women, you can't go back. I'm going to get Hey, this is a fucking disclaimer. So don't get pissed at me once I tear off you know their their makeup and all the you know the the high heel shoes and the fucking the fucking uh what are those 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 uh what are the fuck you know the with the fake bras with the fake titties in there or you know what i'm talking about all the fake shit once we tear all that off they are just human women fart they smell they stink they do everything we do even worse guys they're human so stop making them out to be something that they're not so if you want to understand women stay on this channel all right so here's a great one, actually from a subscriber. You guys have some great, great questions. Sorry, 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 sorry. Bouncing around over here. And one thing he said is, he asked is, because I said that uh, women want men who are better than them. And he said, does that also mean financial? Well, what you guys need to understand is what a woman perceives you as has nothing to do with your finances. It has nothing. Guys, women are attracted to us or they're not. Period. A woman either finds you attractive or zero or one or two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten out of ten, or she does not. She either finds you attractive or not. 
Your finances mean absolutely nothing in this trade. Now, here, you guys have to understand an important distinction. If she sees you as better than her, or if you display properties of that, you could be a broke motherfucker and still be calling the shots. Now, don't start with the whole game, you know, need to play games and all this. I'm not going to say, guys, no. This is not the 1980s player Mac you know, I'm a fucking pimp. This type of... Guys, don't even start. God, it's so dark down here. I don't like it, but it's noisy this way. Ah, fuck it. I'll go this way. It's going to get a little noisy, guys, but I'll go down where the lights are so you guys can see what, see my, see what I'm up to. What I want you guys to understand is we have already learned in my last... Check out my last video. Things that your dad didn't teach you. But also something that you of very high importance is you guys need to understand. Ah, shit, I gotta run. Ah, my fucking legs are sore. <laughs> what you guys need to understand. You know what? There is a little light down here. What you guys need to understand is that women understand strength. We, I went over that in my last video. That's all they understand. But they also, well, if they see that you know you're better than them, they are probably, probably going to be much more attracted to you. Because these pickup artists will all the time tell you, oh, you know, you need confidence, you need confidence, you need confidence, you need confidence. Confidence doesn't come from the thin air, jackass. Confidence comes from actually doing things. Fixing your insecurities. My insecurities video, I always reference to that video. Because that is a big one that you guys have not addressed is your insecurities. And once you do that, you are going to believe that you are better than these weak-ass hoes. What the fuck is that bitch doing in her car? The shit? You know, I, not to get sidetracked, you guys aren't going to believe this. But one time when I was a trainer, I worked at 24-Hour Fitness. And I was walking through the car lot going home. And this girl, 24-Hour Fitness... She had like a blanket over her lap and shit, and she was like, she was she was rubbing her pussy. She was fucking masturbating, and I'm like watching her. I didn't want to be a creep or nothing, but she was being a creep because she was in her car and shit. And I was like, Jesus, that's kind of hot. And I just left her alone because I was. She's like on the phone and shit, you know, and her eyes were closed so she couldn't see me, and it was crazy. I was like, damn, bitch. And she's like working it. She's just like rubbing that shit, and her eyes were closed so she didn't see me. Fucking watching her. <laughs> I thought that's what was happening right there. Anyway, today's a fun day, guys. It's Saturday night. Why aren't you out with all the women and not the club and belts? Guys, I don't lose. I win. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to set up a sugar baby later. Yes, a fucking sugar baby or an escort. What do you think of that? Oh, shit. My thing's getting a little... I've been walking so much today. It's like blinking. <laughs> Fuck, it's like, hurry, charge me. I'll do that later. But what I want you guys to know is women only understand strength. And number two, well, the topic for today is that if they believe and perceive that you are better than them, they are going to be more attracted to you. It doesn't matter if you have money. It's irrelevant. Because in a woman's mind, attraction is attraction. For example, does the MILF or cougar in her Lexus who sees the young 18 year old, six foot three, 215, 220 pound, you know, uh, quarterback at the high school who's like the, you know, king dick, when she comes and picks up her kids, does she all of a sudden think, oh, well, he's broke? So I'm not attracted to him? No, she's attracted to him. Women get moist for us, guys. It, there's some basic shit that I, uh, I'm not gonna berate you guys because you guys really, Guys, women get moist all the fucking time. I'm going to let you in a little secret. Women are moist all the time. They get turned on as much, if not more, than we do. Oh, yes. All the time, guys. Their pussy gets moist. And, you, like, they're never going to tell you this. But I can... I'm not going to get graphic. But, look. Come on. You guys know... You can smell, if you guys really, really, I know I don't want to get nasty on this one, but let's just be real. You can smell women sometimes. You can smell those pheromones when they look at you and they just, 
they look at you and they just go you know they they, they start to like they get sh they get shy and scared and turned on all at the same time and then they whip their hair they get like nervous around you and they're staring at you they're looking at you and then they look away they look back guys women get turned on all the time by guys they find attractive some of the things that you guys aren't going to be able to control are things that they're just more attracted to if you're six foot six and you're a big dude come on look you're gonna get a lot more chicks than me you just are you're gonna pull more ass because more women are gonna be attracted to it there's nothing you guys can do about that but if she perceives you as better than her guess what she's gonna be attracted to, more attracted to you so you've got physical attraction hold on I'm holding this stupid uh, shopping bag here. Hold on a second. Boop. Girls, girls find us very physically attractive at times. 80% of guys they're not attracted to, obviously. But look, guys, if you stay in shape, even if you're not a big dude, th there's going to be women that are going to find you attractive, period. Especially if they perceive you as better. For example, when I was running once down the street and I had my life vest on, it was glowing purple. And these bitches I knew were going to give me a hard time. I didn't even look at them. I looked straight ahead, past them, like tunnel vision. And I knew what was already going to happen. And they go, hee hee hee, oh my god, I love purple, I love your life vest. <laughs> you know, giggle, giggle, all this shit. Because, first of all, they kind of found me attractive because I could see from a distance they were checking me out. And then number two, one of them found me attractive. So of course, both of them found me attractive. I will do a separate video on that. Don't worry. Dude, guys, I have so much information. <laughs> but let's get back to it. I looked past them. And they and they came up to me and they walked past me and they're like, oh, you're so handsome. You know, all this shit. And I'm just running right past them. Didn't even skip a beat. That turned them on even more. Because I believed and pers and I knew I knew I was better than them. They're not that attractive anyway. There's physical, and then there's the mental. With women, guys, you have to understand they have two pussies. One up here, and the second one down below. And I've I've addressed this in my other videos. I've addressed this in my other videos. Girls get moist two different ways, not just one, two. They imagine and they, they they think about you and they fantasize. Guys, women do this shit all day. They have a hamster brain. Constantly thinking, thinking, thinking. They overthink. Haven't you ever noticed girls have severe anxiety? And it's because they do not have us as their protectors anymore. But I want to go into that today. Let's go back in the other direction so you guys can see. But yeah, guys. It doesn't matter if you've got money or not. It's irrelevant. And by the way, do not make money for women, guys. Do it for yourself, for your own retirement, your own peace of mind. Getting money just for chicks is a massive waste of time. Because they all have a price. They all do. And yes, I do promote sugar babies, escorting, all that shit. Oh, man, you're tricking. You're tricking with your time, jackass. My time is more valuable. So sit the fuck down in the red wagon, son, and get on the tricycle. Or either or. Because <laughs> daddy is in charge, okay? You're not my daddy. Yeah, actually, I am today. <laughs> anyway, guys. If she perceives you as better than her. Now, ways that you can achieve this are by actually believing that you're better. You are so conditioned in American society to, be, to believe that you're beneath a woman. You have no idea how much power you really have. Just as a guy, I knew a guy who was five feet tall and 220 pounds. The guy was like a little troll gnome-ish. And he was not attractive. And yet he still pulled ass. Because he believed he was better. Mind you, I'm a foot taller than, than that son of a bitch and better looking. And he still pulled ass. How? Because he believed he was better. Now, how do you guys get that belief? 
go back to my insecurities video, get the insecurities out, start to map out who you are as a person, who you are, what are your shortcomings? Once you get those insecurities out, guys, you won't care if you're five foot three. You're not going to care. You're going to say, you know what? I'm actually five foot three. It could be a lot worse. I could be four eleven. Or you're going to say, you know what? Fuck these bitches. If they don't like me at five foot three, they don't deserve me. Do you see what I'm saying? Bitches need to qualify for you. Oh, but they drive better cars. That's your own insecurity. Go back to my insecurities videos, guys. Work on your insecurities. That's the reason why you're not pulling ass. And by the way, don't date coworkers. Holy shit. Do not date coworkers ever for any reason. Unless you're leaving that job because you're not going to have it long. If you believe you are better than her, you will get her. You're more likely. That means you're not going to pay attention to her. That means you have other things to do. Well, but what if you just run away from them like you did with those chicks? Guys, I didn't want anything to do with them. If I had, I would have played it nonchalantly. It would have been like, I know you love this purple vest. That's not the only thing you love. I would have said something funny like that. I do that shit all the time, guys. So what? Dude, I was over at the, what, what business? I was at this business and this girl goes, oh, you know, she was asking me about cars or some shit. What's your favorite car? And I said, I said something. I don't, I don't remember. I was like, oh, yeah, they're okay. I like motorcycles more. And she goes, and I go, okay, what kind of cars do you like? Because that's what she really wanted me to ask. And she goes, BMWs. And I said, you look like a BMW pers person. And she goes, oh, thanks. And I said, not a compliment. And she started laughing her ass off because, and her eyebrows pop the fuck up because she's like oh he's better than me and immediately the pussy gets moist guys that's how it works now i wasn't attracted to her at all i was just being funny to make fun of her in front of her co-workers which they laughed because one of them was cute you see what i'm saying guys women want the biggest swinging dick in the room they don't care if you're five foot nothing if you got the personality, they don't give a shit. They don't care if you broke. They couldn't care less. Now they'll complain about it later on, but if you're just looking to get laid, enjoy. Now, by no means am I a pickup artist, guys. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about game. I want you guys to fix yourselves, to win on your terms, period. Chasing ass is no life. Chasing ass is loser territory. We don't chase ass over here. That's not our philosophy. We win. Small victories every day. That's our philosophy. Small victories every day. And we let the ass come to us. We are the black widow spider in the fucking web waiting for the insects to come. We just chill. We hang out. We do a little weaving of the web. And they come, we just wait. The insects come and we just, we don't chase. We don't have to. What's the point? Waste the time. We chill. That's why we're the big spider. So in terms of what it takes, if you believe you're better than a woman, you have a much better chance of getting her. If you truly believe that you are better Deep down, it doesn't matter what how, how much money you got. It's irrelevant. Now, these things do help, but nothing will ever be foolproof, guys. Nothing. This is the channel where we win, where we kick ass. We don't chase women. We let them come to us because there's plenty. Pl guys, they come and go. Every fucking month, I've got new bitches in my <laughs> DMs every day. It's insane. Okay? So this is a shorter video for today. If you believe you're better, you will be better and they will be much more attracted to you. But if you really don't believe that you're better than them, they're gonna treat, if you guys, if you treat her like a celebrity, she will treat you like a fan. That means she's gonna treat you like a loser. But if you believe you're better than her, 
you're already in a frame of mind that's going to defeat 99.9% .9 of all women. And they're going to be very attracted to that. All right. What was the point of today's video? To get you to understand that you are better than them, even if you're an average guy. And you want to know why? Because you have something they don't. Humility. Most women will never be humble, gentlemen. And I'm speaking directly to you. You are better. I don't care who you are. I don't care what type of guy you are. I don't care if you're ugly, if you look like the fucking elephant man. If you really know that you are better and you become better, you are going to be unstoppable. And that's a guarantee. I don't guarantee much in this life, but that is definitely a guarantee. And you will be way happier. So don't ever, ever, ever let a bitch get you down because they will never be even a fraction of what you will be. Never. Not in this lifetime. And that's something to grow on, guys. Did I just step in dog shit? I did. <laughs> I thought I did. I was like, damn. God damn it. Right in this badass video, right in the perfect, you know, the crescendo. And it's like, oh, man, he's he's nailing it. Yeah, yeah. And I'd step in dog shit. Oh, man, come on. No, but seriously, for real, guys, you are better. Even if you hate yourself. You know, that's the irony. Even if you hate yourself, even if you're low, even if you're depressed, you can become something incredible for you. Not for anybody else and not for fame and all this nonsense. I want you guys to be proud of yourselves. I want you to be proud of yourself because that's more important than anything in this lifetime. Don't you ever forget that. That's why I do these videos. To be proud of myself. To be proud of you guys. Yes, you are better. And yes, you can become even better. Until next time. I'm watching you get to it.